Hello everybody, this is Srihasha. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to get back the standard the, the VA commands that you have used to teach us computer science in the college or in the Windows. I am using Windows 8 now and you can get this too. First thing you have to do is install the compiler. I am using the CC, the MinW compilers. So go to MinW, MinW.org website. Uh, download the installer with this button they have here is the button okay i have already downloaded and after installation okay go to okay in installation manager okay there are several tools you have so go to basic setup and these are the what you should install the first thing is link up develop developer toolkit after this install window view 32 base these are enough for standard c and also installed the G++ for C++ and Objective-C compilers also. The only things uh, if you are using only C, your MinW Developer Toolkit and MinW32 Base, MSYS Base. MSYS Base is required by the MinW Developer Toolkit. These are the basic systems. Okay, after you complete, after you mark them, click them and mark for installation. After installation, go to installation and apply changes. Okay, I have already installed this. And the next, the thing we need to do is go to C, MingW, and the bin folder here. This contains the compilers such as the CC, CC compiler, and others. So copy this bin path. Oh wait, sorry. Copy this bin path, and we have to add this to environment in path variable is called path. So open, open run. System dot type sysdm dot cpl. This is the standard system dialog systems uh, uh, system properties dialog box. Uh, you can also get this to the right clicking on my computer and go to properties and selecting advanced properties. Okay, from the computer, you know, this is the default. Okay, go to the advanced tab. Uh, in the bottom, you should find here a thing called environmental variables. Okay, there are only two variables temp and a tmp. What we need to do is we need to create a new variable. Name it as path. The variable value is percentage a th percentage and a semicolon and the min w means min path column semicolon. Okay, apply it. There should be a button and create okay. Okay. Now you should you can access the CC compiler from your command box. The next thing we have to do is download the Vim Vim Winter. Okay, so go to Vim.org and Vim.org and go to the Vim dot Vim.org download.php. The link will be in the description and most popular MS Windows self installing executor. This is the thing you have to download. I have already downloaded it, so let me open my downloads folder. GM74. This is the installation file. Yes. Okay. This will install. We'll okay. And new install. Okay. Just also what we need to do is after typical, just select the this create dot bat files for command line uses. These are the things we need to install. Okay. Go next. I'm installing on the default program files. Install. Shoot. Yes. Just wait for the installation to come. Okay, installation is completed. Click close. Okay, I don't want to see my uh, see the reader with me. Okay, next what we need to do is add the Vim also to the uh, to the path variable so that it can be found by the compiler. So I installed C program files and we Vim. Here there is a Vim seventy four. This is a version. Okay, what we need to do is this Vim is the command file command line version. What we need, this is the Vim is come V A extension for VI so we need to copy it and paste it in the same directory to get the VI command okay so this is so press F2 to rename it and say name it as VI okay continue this uh, makes it accessible for the same program with the VI command okay next what we should do is we should copy this path and add this again so go to system CPL again and go to the advanced tab go to the environmental variables edit the path value and after this column paste semicolon paste it and add another semicolon okay or press okay and okay now all we need is we are ready ready to do a sample program so first 
okay i am going to use cmd command prompt this is my command prompt okay, i am using i am in my default user directory so i am creating a new directory for c programming so mk edit i am using at the c pro c pro directory okay now we have to go into the c pro directory so type cd c pro okay now let me clear the screen see this okay this is now first what we need to do is the create a file name so vi space that uh, we are using a sample file name so hello world hello world dot c this is the standard vi enter we use this in, the, in our computer lab too okay now to press it you have to press insert to go to the insert menu insert tab okay press it okay i don't have insert on my keyboard so it will be it on keyboards which don't have insert you can find it in the in the numpad on the zero key so if you are having that you can to press shift zero on numpad this will go to insert mode okay let's type a sample form send into dot h me Hello. Okay, we are uh, in. We are already we have typed the program. Okay, now what we need to save this. So press escape, shift colon, w w means write and quit. Okay, it writes the file and quits it. Now what we need to do is we have to come and compile it. So type cc hello world dot c. Dot c. Okay, the compilation has been successful. Now to run it, just type A yeah and enter. So it's, it's hello world. That's it. That's it. You have executed your sample program. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.